Hello there. Hello. Welcome to the Carnival Jubilee. Yeah. So this is an Excel class ship. This is our mm -hmm. first time on it. We didn't take any footage of getting on the ship. So sorry. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah. So we're with our friends and so they have a little girl and you know, we were just helping her get on and stuff so we didn't have the camera out or anything. So we are in the room yeah. and we're gonna do a room tour in a little bit, but we wanted to welcome you guys aboard the Carnival Jubilee. Yeah. So we're sailing out of Galveston and this ship is gonna be here for a while. Yes. Yeah, so like it has like a Texas star on it and everything, you know, we primary cruise out of Galveston because we can drive here. So we got here today, we boarded later than we normally do, but it was actually a pretty quick process. Yeah, it was. I heard some negative reviews from the first couple cruises, so I'm glad that they got it figured out. I think so. that's a little rough in the check-in portion, but that's just because it's what's well, busy. There's a lot yeah. of people trying to try and get through. I think it's probably holds around five to accept. It's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you guys the process. So you you get here. Now you have to get here on time. If you don't get here on time, they're gonna put you in the late or early. Mm -hmm line now that we did get in that line because we were about 10 minutes early but it actually seemed to work out a little bit better mm -hmm. to get in the building which is really mainly what we wanted to do because it's kind of cold outside but then once you got in the building there were different time slots that you could get on so since we were at we were just like 10 minutes maybe five minutes at that time yeah. early they told us just getting like our time slot and we just like walked like yeah. right through walked and walked and walked yeah so then you go into a check-in table and there's circular tables where there's some of the associates standing at. Now that part was a little confusing because they don't, they, it's not super organized. Mm -hmm. So we went to a table and we had no issues, but our friends, multiple people got directed to the same table. So they were like, they caused like a backup and everyone was just kind of standing around not knowing what to do. So just be aware of that. Like, make sure that you're the only, you go to the, make sure your table you're going to doesn't have anyone at it. Yeah. Um, and like, if it does, and maybe communicate that with the person who's telling you where to go. Yeah. Like, oh, they already went there, you know, that might help. Um, and then after that, you go, you walk a ways. Yeah. You yeah, and then once you walk through there, then you go through security. Yes, which is opposite from what Galveston usually would be. Now, when you get through security, you have to check your, um, your sodas and your wine and they thoroughly checked it yes so, so please don't bring anything you're not you supposed to yeah don't bring anything you're not supposed to because the guy told will that people had already tried to bring alcohol and stuff on board and we brought some little coffee guys and it looks like shot glasses so you yeah. had to like really look at them really look for the seal yeah but i kept all like the labeling on them i just thought it'd be fun to have like some flavored coffee stuff with mm -hmm. us um, because Java Blue has included coffee at it this time and it's just like right above us. So I thought, you know, we could just run up and get coffee some mornings and then not have to spend money on the expensive coffee. Yeah. Looking at Will. <laughs> so, I mean, then we went through security, we checked our things, and then we just pretty much walked and walked and walked and walked until it was time to get went on board. Up lots of hills, so just so you guys are aware. You do go quite a bit of uphill. They're mm -hmm. all like it wasn't super steep. Like, yeah, it wasn't like Long Beach. Long Beach yes. just was super steep. But also, right before you get to go on the ramp, you have to do another check-in. So you have to do keep your boarding pass out, mm -hmm. and then they scan your boarding pass one last time, and then you go on the ship. You don't have to scan as you get on the actual ship. That's yes. where you scan to get on. So that went really quick. And we just muster station went really quick because it was right there right when we came yeah in. so we're on deck five in one of the premium interior rooms mm -hmm. and our muster station was c6 and it's literally right when you get off on the ship so we just walked over there did it really quick and then we got on it was already 1 30 so we came to the room and dropped mm -hmm. our stuff off so that worked out really well yeah and then we went up and had a snack mm -hmm on Lido. We were looking for the funfetti cheesecake. Yes, and we could not find, so I don't know if they're out or we just we didn't know where to look. Like usually there's like a huge cake display and there wasn't, it was like the gelato with like two different cakes. Mm -hmm. So if we find the huge cake display, we'll let you know, but yeah. at this point it's missing. Yeah. And I'm sad. But anyway, so I tried the gyro mm -hmm. and I got the chicken. It was good. I yeah. thought that it wasn't super flavorful. Um, I, I think I could have used a little more sauce, maybe. Yeah, that's true. They, they're they very standard. Like, they do very, like, 
just a squirt here, just a sl slather there. Yeah, but there, you could ask for more. Veggie. I just had it made as is, and then I also got some extra vegetables. You can always get like more tomato, cucumber, whatever on it. And then they have chicken and they have beef and lamb. So I got yeah. the chicken because I don't eat babies. And I liked it. It was it was good. There were, the meat was not I, I mean, it wasn't anything to write home about. Yes. I would say if you are trying to try all the new things, that might be something you don't have to try. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a snack, because that's all we really wanted. Because we're true. eating dinner early. Yes. And we had breakfast late. So we just wanted to try something new. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we got the salted caramel cheesecake. Yes. And, and that was good. good. And then I got the coffee gelato. Yeah. How was that? It was good. It was very coffee. Oh, so really? if you don't okay. like coffee, you're not yeah. going to like it. So our friends got the raspberry and they said it was kind of watered down. So mm -hmm. I think the coffee was the winner on the gelato. Um, anything? Oh, we went and checked her for our little friends at, what's it called? Camp Ocean? Camp Ocean. Yeah. Camp Ocean. So we went and that's really nice. And they have mm -hmm. like the Dr. Seuss library and stuff like that. So I think she's gonna really enjoy mm -hmm. it. She didn't want to leave. No, not she, at all. she's ready she to stay. Ready to stay. And then I just so you guys know, we don't do a lot of children content because we don't have kids, mm -hmm. but we do have a kid with us this time. So Advent, no, Camp Ocean. Camp Ocean. Camp Ocean on Carnival. You can go when you're two years old. That's a year younger than most other. Groups. Yeah, and they even change diapers. So they asked yeah. you can you can tell them if you want to be called for a diaper change and you come down and do it, or if you're okay with staff changing diapers, mm -hmm. which I think is really good. Yes, I think so, that's a very good way to do that. Yep, and so you just gotta look at your the schedule and stuff and figure out when it's gonna be open, and then I don't know. I think she's gonna like it. Yeah, she's she's. We'll report it. back, but they've got some cool stuff in there. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and do the room tour. So we'll show you what the premium interior, I think it's called premium interior. I'll look that up and make sure. And then we'll show you the room. Catch you guys soon. Bye. All right, so we're coming to you from the future. Yes. So last night we totally forgot to check in. Mm -hmm. I was so tired when we got to Me the too. room. It was a long travel day. Um, but we wanted to go over what we did mm -hmm. after we last left you. So yeah. we went to dinner. And, oh, but before that, we found the best carnival soft serve at sea. Oh, yeah. You have to go do the one in Summer Landing by Guys Pig and Anchor. Mm -hmm. Because, I think it's because it's inside. Yes. And it's not, because it, I guess the one on Lido is inside too, kind of. But, like, I think it's warmer because of, like, where it's at. Mm -hmm. And it was really cold, so that might have had something to do with it. Yeah. But anyway, so that was the best soft serve at sea. And then we went to dinner and I was so excited because as you guys know, I love the Szechuan shrimp on night one. Mm -hmm. It was okay. Yeah. It was, we even tried to look back and see, was it the same as what we remembered it? And it kind of was. Like, it kind of was. The shrimps were really small this mm -hmm. time, but they were a little bigger last time. Mm -hmm. It was, the sauce was different. It was sweeter. It wasn't as spicy. It was a little bit more Americanized. Yeah, and we couldn't tell if that was because of the ship, because I think you've had it on the breeze before. Yeah, I had it on the breeze and the panorama, and it was more spicy. Same. So, don't know. Maybe it's just the chefs here wanted a little bit more sweet. But one good thing that did happen is I asked for the ultimate cob salad mm -hmm. as an appetizer, and they actually brought me out an appetizer portion of it. So mm -hmm. I think if I would have wanted two entrees, I could have still got two entrees. Yeah. Yeah. So. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. And then for dessert, I had the cheesecake. And it was it was cheesecake, it was okay. Okay, what about you? What else did you, what did you have? I had the, uh, my usual, um, what was it called? It was Caesar salad for yeah. appetizers. Yeah, how was the Caesar? It was good. Um, it's not too uh, anchovy. So for you all who don't really care well, for anchovy. Well, because when we first went on Carnival, it was very super anchovy. anchovy. Yeah. They have now fixed that. It is not as anchovy anymore. Yeah. Um, then for my entree, I got two entrees. I got the Szechuan shrimp as well. And then I also got the... Um, featured Indian. Yeah, it's featured Indian, which was uh, kind of an eggplant. Yeah. It was like an eggplant curry. And, and then like... Like, a, um, but like a potato and pea type. Yeah, but it had sweet potato in it. Oh, okay. Sweet yeah. potato and pea. The... the Indian dish was very, very good. I really enjoyed that. I really liked the eggplant a little bit more than the sweet potato and pea one, but um, it was, was like good. a saffron rice. 
I guess. What? It was like, because it was yellow a little bit. Yes. Um, yeah. And the shrimp I thought it was good. It's my first time actually getting the shrimp as a just entree. That was good. Um, like she said, it wasn't as good as before, but it's still good. I would still get it. I still recommend it. And then also you got a new dessert that we haven't had before. Oh, yes. I got the lime sorbet. I was accidentally on the vegan menu. Yeah. And he um, was like telling me I was on the wrong spot. And I was like, no, there's no vegan sorbet. But, but it was good. Yeah. Um, it's like a lime popsicle. I actually think I might have preferred that cream. to... The, the, cheesecake. Uh, the cheesecake, yeah. It's, it was really good. Like, I, I would rather... I'm not a big fan of popsicles. So if I could have all popsicles in that ice cream-like form... Because well, it wasn't as icy. It was a little bit creamier. I wonder if they used, like, coconut milk or something in it yeah, to give it the cream. Probably. It didn't taste like coconut, though. No. All right. So then we went to the uh, cruise director show. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you some clips from that here. <laughs> director show we went to the comedy club to see the happy cole yeah happy cole he was really funny he was very, very it was good. an r-rated show and it was mm -hmm. earlier in the evening which i love because yes. he they also had the double header at in the theater at 11 30 but there was no way i was we making did, it to we, that, we did not make that and then no. after that we went to the dear future husband show mm -hmm. now it got mixed reviews yeah. from our group so i liked it because i liked the songs it wasn't the best acting or anything, but the singing was good, mm -hmm. and I liked the song choices, and it did follow some semblance of a plot. Yes, I, I agree. I liked it. It's my favorite yeah. Carnival show so far. Yeah, we know Carnival doesn't have like the bigger theatrical productions that the other lines do, but I thought this was a good kind of like show that they could at least make something just as good or like a kind of a show timey type one it's pretty good and, and like i said i like the song choices it really hit the millennial feel it did it, it targeted a lot of millennial like songs and i felt like the performers were really enjoying performing those yes. songs like they seemed like to be really getting into it um and then after that we came back to the room and we went to sleep so that's that was our night um so we're gonna close out the vlog here. Yeah. I know it's the morning, but just pretend it's the just night pretend. before. We don't have these clothes on next time. You see yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about the Jubilee, leave them down below. I love to answer your questions. I really love your comments. Yeah. So, thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.